and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to tell if your products, specifically your curl creams, are either too heavy, too light, or just right for your hair. Kind of like a Goldilocks thing going on. We're also going to be discussing the ins and outs of the Uncle Funky's Daughter Super Curl Curl Cream, which is a favorite of mine. So let's get into it. So like I said, first of all, we are going to talk about the ins and outs of the Uncle Funky's Daughter Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream. I've always loved Uncle Funky's Daughter. They were one of the first products I've ever gotten into. And their branding is like kind of everything to me. It's so like psychedelic and fun. And I love their name. When I told my husband that I was going to be collaborating with Uncle Funky's in a Curls Monthly mail Mailer, he was cracking up because he always cracks up at the name Uncle Funky's daughter. So he always says like Uncle Dunkies. Like he always like says funny names about it. But I think they have the cutest branding and the cutest name and really great products. So this month we have the Super Curl Cream, but then we also have the Maximum Thermal Protection in February's Curls Monthly Mailer. So like I said, just some quick facts about this product. It is extra moisturizing. If you have dry hair, you are welcome. It also helps stretch out curls. So if you're somebody whose curls like really shrink and you struggle with elongation, this is going to be your superhero. I think it's best for tighter textures of hair and it is definition heaven. The product this size retails for $19.99. Like I said, I definitely think that it's going to be best for moisture hungry curls. I used it on my hair and my hair was so happy. I actually use this as a single product and it's really great on its own. You can also pair a gel afterwards. I'll teach you how to use it in a second, but um, dry hair like mine is so perfect. It's also great for frizzy hair and hair that's higher density, like AKA you have a lot of hair. I would say definitely people who wanna be careful with this product are people who have looser hair, looser waves, hair that falls flat easily, fine hair and low density hair uh, because it is a thick, creamy, buttery product. So you can use this curl cream any way that you would normally use a curl cream. I will link a video below on how I use a different curl cream. You can use that in the same exact way. But basically you wanna make sure that you put this on after the shower on soaking wet hair. And then how you style your hair after that is up to you. There's so many different ways that you can do that. And I really like this product on its own. It gives me great definition, great shine and everything like that on its own and nice soft bouncy curls. Of course, you can pair a gel with it if you're wanting that extra hold and that extra shine to your hair. Ingredients wise, up at the top next to water, we have soybean oil, which seals moisture into your hair and leaves your hair super glossy and shiny, which makes sense because like I'm saying, this is a moisturizing product. Then of course we have glycerin, which is a, another great moisturizing ingredient. Glycerin basically attracts moisture from the air into your hair so your hair can be moisturized actually just throughout the day. Then we have coconut oil, which again is fantastic for moisturization. Honey, which makes this thing on the heavier end. Um, and we also have shea butter. So like between the shea butter and the honey, it's definitely a heavier product. It also has olive oil, which again, these are all like pretty heavy ingredients, which some people love and some people don't. Um, as always, I recommend everybody trying every single product because I think that there's so much benefit that you can get from that and you truly, honestly, never know. But of course, if you have lower density hair, or looser wave, you're just gonna wanna use like a very little amount of it. Now, speaking of which, I wanna talk about how to tell if a product is a little too heavy, a little too light, or just right for you. So I would say that you can tell if any given product, specifically a curl cream, is too light if you have some of these symptoms. Potentially you see like immediate frizz when your hair dries, you don't see any shine, it's pretty dull, and you lack definition. Then on the other end, you can tell if a product is too heavy if you get a super gunky feel when you use it, if it feels weighed down, if your roots are weighed down, if you don't get much volume, and if your hair is super greasy and shiny. Now, before you totally rule a product out, you definitely wanna mess around with how much you're using because if you're using too much of any product, even if it is the right dense amount for you, you are going to want to make sure that you are using like the proper amount before you totally rule it out. So mess around with levels, use less, use more, and kind of see how that works before you totally rule the product out for you. And then, of course, you can tell if a product is just right 
by the results. If the results are kind of in the middle, it's shiny but not weighed down, it's held together but not gunky, that's how you can tell that that curl cream is just right for you. I hope that this curl cream is that perfect Goldilocks for you as it is for me. I am so curious to hear your thoughts about it. Leave them below. I try to answer as many comments as possible. If you're not subscribed to Curls Monthly, I will link that below and I'll see you next time.